and milk batters. It's time for some more VGC. So happy Thursday. We are using the Sylveon Heatran team. Um, again today, same team that we used on Tuesday. Hopefully our gameplay is a bit better today, but we're going to be starting off going against Fluttermane, Torn, Sabretooth, Urshifu, Rillaboom, and Heatran. Uh, so them having Heatran... We bring Lando. They could Terra it. Zapdos does have Hurricane. We just can't set up the Rain. We can set up Tailwind. Huh. What what does what does Grims do again? Sucker Punch, Mr. Terrain, Parting Shot, Fake Out. We could lead with. Zapdos, Fluttermane, have Lando in the back. Um, we could also lead Sylveon. I think we we have to have Heatran. Hmm, I don't know. Them having Heatran scares me from. Like, obviously we can't bring Fluttermane and Sylveon. Sylveon does big damage, and just with Sylveon we're locked in. We could have brought Sylveon to Terra Water. Um, just because I don't think we need a Terra Grass Heatran. So Sylveon, Terra Water to take care of their Heatran could have been, could have been the play. We're just having Fluttermane, but Fluttermane's a good lead against these. They'll probably swap one of them out into Heatran. Fluttermane is Terra Fairy. It's Water Bear. I mean, we could easily go for a Thunderbolt into the okay, Thunderbolt right here. I think we're gonna have to Terra Fairy and just go for Dazzling Gleam in case of Saber goes for a Sucker Punch. It sucks coming in the Terra this early, but I'm not too sure how well we live. Um, how, well, how well we live a Sucker Punch. Okay. Whatever comes in is... I'll take that. Okay, we're gonna Terra. Honestly, the Sazzling Gleam Thunderbolt might knock out Torn. I don't think Saber can one-shot Fluttermane now that we Terra'd. Who are their physical attackers? Rillaboom? They're the fastest thing out here. They didn't go for the Sucker Punch, so that's nice. Sash? Yeah. gone. They get Urshifu in here. Saber could attack that. We can't Terra Grass Heatran, so... Is it worth to... It may be worth just to... Protect... Yeah, because we haven't seen that last one. It's either Fluttermane, Rilla, or Heatran. They go for the... They could go for the Sucker on... Fluttermane right now. We could swap in Lando. I think if we Thunderbolt that, we can protect Fluttermane. This Urshifu is gonna be- this, this Urshifu is the biggest threat to what we have in the back. Shit. Forgetting that that can do that. But that would have gone before a Dazzling Gleam anyway. Let's go crash. No flinches. You can't flinch if you're dead. Oh god. Hmm. 
Hmm. Aqua Jet is gonna do a lot. Can't Terra. Good rock slide. I mean, Intimidate will drop the, um... I'm not there. I think we just rock slide. Look what they have in that bag. Heatran, Rilla. I think we're just gonna go for the Earth Power. This is only one if they swap in the Heatran. Okay, we're living. The Rock Slide, so we'll knock out Saber, that's nice. Um, we're gonna see that last Mon. See how much this Earth Power does. Jesus. It's okay, we know we can live another Aqua Jet. I don't think it's Heatran, what are they in the back? It's Fluttermane. So we're just gonna rock slide here. Fluttermane could protect. I don't think Fluttermane does too much. Fluttermane could protect here. Urshfu could go for an Aqua Jet to try and get two Aqua Jets on the Heatran um, before. We're not gonna be able to rock. We're not gonna be able to flinch. Okay, there's another Aqua Jet. Without the defense drop from. Are you kidding me? Who is that? Mm. Shit. Heatran, let's go. Heatran, slow this thing out here. Do we get the knockout? Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, all right. So, with this, they haven't seen protect from us. They're faster. Um, we're gonna protect. They have their Terra, Terra Fairy, Terra Water, Terra what? Terra Fairy. So now I think they're just gonna big boost go for Dazzling Gleams. Um, we're gonna protect just so we have spread damage this turn and next turn. Hit the Rock Slide. Okay. There's Dazzling Gleam. Oh my god, it's gonna come down to if this rock slide hits or not. Lando. Lando, I believe in you. Woo! <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm so glad the Earth Power got the knockout. That one was scary. That was scarier than I wanted it to be. It literally, we came. It. It could have gone either way. If the rock slide missed, um, it would have died. Fluttermane would have dozen gleam knocked everything out. Um, did we bring the right mons? I think going Terra, Terra Fairy Fluttermane at the beginning is a bit scary. Could we have possibly protected turn one um, to kind of see if they were gonna go for the Sucker Punch? Probably, cause like, I mean, I guess Urshu would go for Surging Strikes. Um, yeah, mm, scary. Ooh. Torn Urshifu, Saber, Fluttermane, Rilla, and Arcanine. So Arcanine probably is Intimidate. Uh, I do like Lando. Terra Water Sylveon's kinda, kinda eh. I mean, they could go with that, that Urshifu Saber lead again. I think with that, maybe we want to try go Sylveon, Sylveon Zapdos. I like Heatran in the back. We can also swap in if we think they're going to go for like a Flare Blitz. 
And then I think Lando. I don't think we have brought Grimm's at all. And seeing as that we have a lot of like issues against like Urshifu, if instead of Grimm's we put in Gastrodon, I wonder how that would work. I wonder, I'm not, not the greatest at team building, but. Um, wow, Shining the Cario. Very hype. Um, I also love taking a look at other people's trainer cards. Saber. Booster speed. I think we may just swap in here. Booster speed, booster speed. We'll go for trying to break the sash on this. If they go for a dazzling gleam, Heatron should big tank this. Sash, okay, very solid. Thunderbolt sword will break that sash. Now here, did they... We can just go for a heat wave. They went for a shadow ball. We could kind of just roost up. Okay, protect on there. Damn! That's fine. We're just gonna roost. We'll see about this heat wave. Maybe if we would have gone for a flash cannon there, that would have been hype. So up in here, I don't know if Trace Scarf Lando is faster than Flutterman, and we're gonna kind of find that out right now. We are going to find that out right now. But we're gonna Heat Wave, and then I think, I think I'll just go for a U-turn. If we are faster, I would rather them attack the Sylveon. Um, keep the Intimidate in the back. We did Intimidate Saber, so that's nice. <sighs> We're gonna hope Heatran. Heatran pulls through for us. If Heat Wave hits both, and the U turn does a decent amount of damage with the defense drop from Sabertooth, um, we could be good. I don't think because it's booster speed. Yeah, yeah they are faster. I was like, I don't think they get the knockout on Lando. Ah. <sighs> I don't know if that's heat wave damage too. Um. Okay. Who do we miss on? That's okay. That's okay, because we can. They booster, so they could protect this turn. Um, we still have our Terra. They have Arcanine. We could Terra Water, so we don't want to. Well, I guess we could Terra Grass. Okay. We may want to Terra Grass, Heatran.
Okay. We're gonna go for the Terra Grass on Heatran. They're gonna Terra. Pride their Urshifu Terra Water. Uh huh. We're gonna hope this Terra Grass lets us live. Because between hopefully the Heat Wave. Do the Heat Wave? Hopefully the heat wave hits. And then the hyper voice should hopefully do a, a good amount. So be on his choice spec, so. Shovel, yeah, they know Heatran is the big threat. Surgeon strikes. Oh, into the Sylveon. She No. Oh, damn. Uh we're gonna have a fighter burner thing. The surgeon strikes it doesn't matter. But Lando will be faster. Can't protect here. How do we wanna handle? Maybe we go for Rock Slide and hope for flinches? They could Aqua Jet the Lando. I think we'll just go for the Heat Wave. And I think we have to go for the- we have to lock into Rock Slide. See if we get any flinches. It does a good amount. Ow! Oh, it's okay. A flinch on the Urshfu is... <clears throat> it means they were going for certain strikes. Ah! Oh, I don't think Heatran can do this. Having Torn in the back is very solid for them. I guess if Bleak when Storm misses... Then that's a possibility. But Surgy Tracks this crit, it'll it'll still do it'll still do a lot. Yeah. GG, well played. Uh, who would have been <sighs> I guess the turn that we terrored Heatran we wouldn't have had to, but like at this point Surging Strikes would do a lot, and then the Bleak Wind Storm there would do a lot. So if that would have missed on the Lando, that would have been high. But I, we were, we got the, we got, oh, not a crit. Uh, we got the flinch <laughs> on the Urshavu. Extending the game out one, one extra turn. Uh, well played. Did we bring Rifle? See, again, there's so much Urshavu. I'm like, if we had Gastro on the team. Could be something. Could be something. I'm probably also not utilizing Grims at all, but uh, yeah, Gastrodon. Gastrodon's where it's at. Iron Hand, Saber, Fluttermane, Heatran, Theory, and Thundee. And then Urshifu. Hmm. They have a Heatran, so we have to be careful of heat waves. We could lead Sylveon. What does Mr. Train do? Oh, it doesn't boost fairy type fairy type moves. Hmm. Second like punch parting shot, yeah. I don't I don't think that's worth it to have. I feel like maybe if we have Zapdos in the back, like we've been keeping, um, we've been having Zapdos in the lead a lot of time. Maybe maybe if Zapdos in the back, because Zapdos goes down pretty pretty quickly. Um, Zapdos got this covert cloak. It's because Ter Zapdos is Terra Water, so I wonder if that. Helps out. 
Let's airship you. Intimidating about these is great. We're faster than Saber. I could just go for a big hyper voice. Could fake one of us out. Use an ice move. We'll swap in. I don't want Iron Hands to fake out Lando and then go for like uh, Ice Spinner, Ice Skull Shard, or uh, Ice Skull Crash. Okay, so we got on Sylveon. Ice That's fine. Not bad of a turn. Ice Spinner would do so much to Lando. Don't want to go for Heat Wave because yeah, they could have Heat Tran. Um, let's go for the Hyper Voice here. Flash Cannon, Earth Power. We could Earth Power the Iron Hands. Is there something that could come in that? Ethereum. Ethereum Thundy. I mean, Saber's probably. <sighs> I was like, Saber's probably got Slash. Um, okay, so Heat runs faster. Just hyper voice off. God damn. Um, did not know that Iron Hands, in fact, gets Earthquake. Hyper Voice again here. That'll knock out that. What do you think they have in the back that they're so afraid of? Heatran. We'll just Flash Cannon this. Should've protected. I wish we'll knock out the Iron Hands. Bring that down to Sash. We don't have anything with priority. We know Lando is faster. And they probably don't have an Ice type. I sure- I don't know if- I think it's actually sure, but we've seen Ice Spinner. There's Heatran. Oh, shiny Heatran. But then I'm like, do we swap Sylveon out into Zapdos? And then go Terra Water? Terra Water Sylveon. That could be. That could be the play. So I'm in Zapdos, we can Earthquake. We're locking ourselves in Earthquake. I think that's doable. They haven't terrored though. Um, protect there. They didn't terror. So get an earthquake. Maybe they're trying to see how much Zapdos. I mean, how much. He's trying to. Yes! Yes! We don't have to worry about going Terra, Terra Water Sylveon. Hmm. Well, there's Fluttermane. We knocked out Iron Hands. We've knocked out. Are you booster speed? Booster speed. Okay. So we could Tailwind. Swap in Sylveon. We gotta preserve Lando. We need Lando to be the fastest thing. I think under Tailwind, even though that's booster speed since we're Scarf, I think we're faster and I'm fine with... Um... I need to go down. We just go for a Hyper Voice.
Yeah. Counter attack, that's fine. Yeah, because Zapdos is now faster than Fluttermain, so that's hype. And Death and Gleam. And we'll see how much this does. It's a good amount. We're just gonna roost again, and we'll go for the Hyper Voice. Our goal here is just keep Zapdos living. If Saber wants to go for an Ice type attack on it, we we drop our flying type. Silverdown goes down. There's Ice Spinner. But, Olivia, thanks for getting rid of that. And now we can just lock into Earthquake. Um. We could tear a water. No. We'll just Thunderbolt that. And we're gonna lock into an Earthquake. That's fine. Double protect. Yeah, did we count this timing right? Probably not. <sighs> We're gonna go for a Talon and then we'll go for Earthquake. They get Sucker, Dazzling Gleam, but I don't think that gets the knockout. I think Earthquake just clears the field. Because we're so fast on Saber. Ah, uh, close battle. <laughs> close battle. Uh, keeping Zapdos around as long as we did was good. I mean, maybe we should have tried to, like... Um, I don't know. Because I wanted to keep spread damage. Because if it was just Lando here... They, they just double targeted. And, I mean, we did get it low enough to where we could have Earthquake up. But I think I, in that game, we should have still taken, um, taken, taken some thought to like our tailwind turns um but yeah lando lando put in work clearing moltres crest grim salamence string cheese and Arch i feel like we've been battling like the same like eight mons eight mons ten mons this is this is exciting clearing moltres crest Grim Salamence. Not even Roaring Moon. Salamence. String Cheese. <sighs> I mean, I don't really see their crest being a way to get Trick Room set up. Don't think we need Tailwind. <sighs> I think Sylveon's very hype. Um, hmm. We go Sylvia on Heatran. We have Zapdos in the back. We got a lot of flying mons, so we'd have to rely on rocks that a lot of time, but mm, I think that'll be better than having Fluttermane. Um,. Since we already are bringing Sylveon, if they bring the string cheese, then both both of our mons are, are weak to that make it rain. We could Terra Terra Sylveon. Is there a reason to go Terra Water, Terra Blast? Not really. I think Hyper Voice does does a lot more to a lot of different mons. Galarian Moltres, the I think they fake out. We 
may have to just go Terra Water to not take super effective damage. gonna go heat wave. Grims could fake out either one of these. Probably the Heatran. We're gonna Terra, which means they don't Terra, so not a Terra Steel. Um, I'm just gonna go Terra Water. I want Sylveon to, to outlive. I want Sylveon to live. Okay, Light Scream. Okay, so no fake out. So crit on Grimms. Grimms is gone, so they only have a light screen up. Let's see what comes in. I mean, they can get a pretty powerful make it rain off. There's a shift too. Check it off with Jet, right? I mean, I think Lando's fast enough. I think we can feel comfy knowing if Heatran goes down. I mean, Sylveon, I think Sylveon sh should hopefully. Why'd you close combat that? Okay, come on, Heatran. I know you can live. Miss on the Urshifu, that's fine. This turn, so much has happened. Oh my. Look at the. Ah, so and Heatran, love them. Um, okay, last Mon. Knowing that Heatran can live. Uh, okay, Galarian Moltres. We were stuck in a hyper voice. I think we'll protect. It could be weakness policy, right? I want to protect so we can bring out Zap. Just we can kind of extend out the turns. I don't want them to. Oh, sorry, Wrath. Uh, to completely knock out, knock out our ones. Okay, Sylveon's living. This Hyper Voice single target screens are up. Berserk's gonna activate. Um, but Choice Scarf Lando should be. Should be a hide. Leftovers. I think we just let him knock knock both of our both of our mons down. Uh. Oh, he trans faster. I didn't even realize he trans was faster. Player and Moltres, that's slow. That's fine. So then I think Zapdos is faster. Okay. <sighs> Moltres could protect. Um, but all we do is we... Thunderbolt and then for... Lando, I mean... The only 100% accurate move that we have is, uh... 
U-turn, which I guess we can go for that. And then Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt would get the knockout, but yeah. Ooh, so solid. So solid. That, that one, that one turn, so much had happened. Them getting the, the lights random, I feel like was definitely very good, like they needed that, but Sylveon just dealt so much damage to the Urshifu. One-shotting that, doing so much damage, that and the Heat Wave on the Grim still doing so much. Um, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely insane. Insane turn, oh. Oh, uh, Charizard, Rillaboom, uh, what is it, Skeledurge, Coquavel, Torn, and Grims. Oh, this is so interesting. We know Skeletor gets that Torch Song. Quiquavel probably has Moxie, so we gotta make sure we take care of that as soon as possible. Are we going Sylveon Zapdos? How do you feel about that, Lee? Torch Song is a fire move, so having Heatran's kinda. Having Heatran's very solid, especially against the Zard. And I think just Lando. We could lead Lando if we wanted Sylveon in the back. But if they start Grimms, Sylveon should do big damage. If, I don't think they set up Rain. I guess they set up Sun. Uh, yeah. Wow, I think we're gonna go this whole week without using Grimms. I'm just, I'm, I'm not used to this Grimms. I'm, I'm used to a, a Screams Grimms. Um, yeah, what could they lead? I feel like Torn, either Torn or Grimms, or we may see both if they wanted to get um, Screen set up and then Torn can set up Weather. Um, we could see Kukuevo right out the start if they wanted to try and get some big like Moxie boost. Um. Okay, Grimson and Skeleton. Hmm. Ghost Fire. So we may want to preserve Zap. Just because Zapdos is good against. Yeah. We preserve Zap. So we just go for a Hyper Voice. Swap into Heatran. Skeledurge. What do they? I don't. I don't know what they normally have. I know Torch Song is the like signature move, but it's only single target. I don't know if Skeledurge. I don't know if it has a spread fire move because if so, um, let's see. Uh, Torch Song. Was fire blast over here. Yeah, it's looking like it's all single target, so it depends on how much they were wanting. Unless if it goes for a sunny day. Torch song. Good swap. Get this hyper voice going. Hyper voice again? We could Earth Power. We could also just go for Heat Wave. Yeah, we'll go for Heat Wave. They may swap out Skeletor. Oh, I'm just gonna go for Thunder Wave. Okay, so yeah, that's okay. Yeah, the boost is special attack. Damn. Fuck. Lights were doing so good. I mean, Skeletor, can they touch Heatran? Are we just Earth Power at this turn? Sylveon may go down. 
Do we need Sylveon though? Not necessarily. Rillazard, Torn, and Quaquavel. I'm preserving Zaps. Zaps the best. There's Rilla. Grassy Seed. Boosting defense. I think we'll just go for that, but I do think I want to go for the Earth Power on this. Um, I don't think there's anything really can do that can, unless if it's got, you know, Terra Blast. Um, yeah, gonna wood handle that. Now it just depends, because this Skeleturge is at plus two. Should we have Terra Grass? Probably. I didn't realize they got Earth Power. I thought, I thought it was going to attack us. That's okay. Which one of these ones do you want to Terra? I don't think we necessarily have to Terra each. Either one of these. I think we just... I think we just gotta lock into the rock slide. And we gotta hope we hit this hurricane. Zapdos. Lander should be the fastest. We have to hope the rock slide hits. They only get set up a light screen. So having um, Lander in the back is solid as long as we hit. We're relying on hitting these moves, but I believe in Lando. Honestly, it's just if if Zapdos misses, it it is what it is. It's okay. I'd rather have Zapdos miss than Lando miss because this Skeledurge. Okay, that's fine. Oh my, that is not fine. Oh. Oh, but we got the flinch. Okay. <sighs> Okay, we're both faster than Rilla. Okay. Go for the same thing again. RG wasn't- uh, we got the flinch, so that's nice. We hit one mom, we got the flinch on it as well. So now if Lando- even if Lando just hit Skeledurge. Kinda of depends on what mon they have in the back. I don't think it's Kukwavel. Skeletors with Protect, that's... Okay. It's okay if we hit the Hurricane. Okay. Or if we flinch the Rilla. That's two misses. Okay. That's slower, that's not bad. Is Skeledurge in a position that, that they could live? Skeledurge is slower than both, right? We'll just go for a Thunderbolt. Rock Slide hits both. Okay. Next that, we'll see how much this Thunderbolt does to Rilla. Okay, fully parent. I think that's the last turn of grassy terrain. Cool Quavel. They didn't tear yet, did they? Ox slide. Go for the Thunderbolt in this. I feel like Cool 
we couldn't protect that. Ah. You know the starters putting in work. Yeah, there's Moxie. Can you get Sash? Body slam. Okay, faster train's gone now. I don't know. I I think the starters got this. I think the starters got this. On if we would have no, well, lucky enough, quick wouldn't have been. Wouldn't have been great because Grassy Terrain would have been up. Um, I mean, if Rill is fully paralyzed and this Aqua Jet doesn't do incredible damage, they could protect and have Rill use Body Slam. They're gonna Terra. Okay. Is this Terra Ground Coquavel? Oh, it's Terra Water. Okay, so they're gonna big boost their their Aqua Aqua Jet. If we live this, and Rilla goes down, I mean, and um, Rilla's fully paired, we may be okay. Oh, this is a very, this is a very close battle. Wow. Such a close battle. That was hype. Definitely, I think we brought the right four. Should we have locked Lando into something else? I guess, or maybe if we would have just like quickly gone for the Terra Water. Terra Water, Terra Blast. Um, yeah, Skeledurge put in work. That was scary. Um, or if it would just like Earthquake it. I guess if we also just went Terra Grass Heatran that one turn, um, we would have would've been great. So if we would have known the Skeledurge had Earth Power, um, Heatran would have been alive. We would have been able to hopefully knock out the Skeledurge. So uh, that was definitely a game defining thing of us not going for the Terra. Uh, battles are super hyped though. Team is great. I do like Sylveon Heatran. I might try and... I don't know. I don't... I, I kind of want to build a team. I just... I think it would have Heatran and Sylveon on it. And then I gotta figure out what other mons um, would would be good to, to assist them with. But that's gonna be it for today. If y'all enjoyed the battles, be sure to leave a like. I think next week I may try out that Frigoraf team that did really well at Worlds. I think that'll be uh, super hype to play. Frigoraf, Frigoraf's a cool mod, but see y'all next week.